We're just going to do a short video here to show you how to remove that pesky underline that's uh, created by default when you create a link on a web page. So as you can see here, I have a link to the Google site here. And obviously it will go to Google. I'm using Dreamweaver, by the way. And then you click, it goes to Google. But you notice there's that pesky underline there, and a lot of times you don't want that there. So there's three different ways you can remove that link. It's all done with the same type of CSS. Uh, the first way is inline. Inline is the least recommended way because you have to change it on each individual element throughout a website to do it this way, but we'll show you this way first. To do it inline, you just create this style right on the link. T-Y-L-E equals text decoration none. Save that page. And you'll notice the link goes away. We'll show you again in the browser. Still works, but no link. A second way you can do it is on the page itself. So let's remove the style here. This is also not recommended because, again, you'd have to go to every page that you need this done for. All right, so you create right on the page a style sheet. And you could, uh, and you'll create a class here. So we're going to put a class. We're going to call it remove underline. Classes start with a period or a dot. Move underline text. Decoration, none. Save that, and again, you'll. We need to put the class right on the link. So class equals remove underline, and we'll save that. And you'll notice again it's gone. We'll check it out in the browser. And there you go. And the final way and the recommended way, so let's go ahead and just take that out, is with a style sheet. And the reason why you want to use a style sheet is because you can make one edit in the style sheet and it will change all links on your entire site that has the class associated with it. So Let's open up style sheet and you'll notice I've already got it here for the sake of expediency we're going to remove the comment there remove underline and we had the style sheet linked to our page you'd have it linked to all your pages right here and we still have our class remove underline here and you'll notice there's no underline and again checking it in the browser and it's still working and there you go. That's all there is to do. All there is that you need to do to remove that pesky underline from my link. I hope you got something from this video. If so, leave a comment below or subscribe. And you have a good day.